Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you had a good Monday. Um, I hope you heard us on the radio yesterday. So I was just saying how fantastically well you're doing with all your missions. And um, I sent that out as well to your parents so that you can hear us on the radio. It was just me having a little interview. So it was really nice to be able to represent you all. Now my assembly today is something a little bit different. So I'll talk you through it. But first of all, we are going to say peace be with you. Thank you, I could hear you saying that back to me. And then I want you to check in, of course, with our flowers, see how you're feeling. Have a look around the room, see how other people are feeling today and see if anyone needs your help. Because we have good days and we have bad days, don't we? Um, and it's nice to make sure that we look after each other. So here's me doing a little dance in my purple dress. It says, thank you for living our values at school and at home. So thank you for being kind and honest and respectful. Now, I know it doesn't happen all the time. I know it's not always easy, but I've been hearing really good things about you. And I hear that your parents are reminding of these things. So just keep it up. Really important stuff. So I have a challenge for you. OK, you are going to need um, maybe a piece of paper to write the letters down. I am going to give you a series of letters. Ten, in fact, ten letters. And for each letter, I would like you to find something beginning with that letter. There's no reason for this other than to have some fun because I want my assemblies to be more interactive. So I'm going to give you a letter. You are going to go and find something beginning with that letter and show me. Eventually you will then have 10 objects and you're going to write down 10 letters. Your parent agents will have to help you with this and then you're going to come up with a word. OK, so I'm going to be saying the, the letters and then I will give you time to go and get things. But I think you're going to have to pause me because otherwise I'm just going to be going and waiting. OK, so you're going to have to pause me. I'll tell you to pause me. Then when you come back, I'll talk again. And then we'll see how it goes. We'll try it and then you can tell me if this works. OK, so are you ready? Your first letter is the letter P. P, P, P. So you need to go and find something. Oh, oh, you're running already. Fantastic. Pause me if you need to. And you're back. OK, you're back. Um, if that's going to how it's going to work. So I can see a pen. I can see a pot. I can see ooh, a pipe, some sort of pipe. Fantastic. So lots of things there. What else? Oh, penguin. I can see a toy penguin. Well done, everybody. So you've got your letter P, the sound P, P and you are going to put that into a word, a 10 letter word. So you might need a bit of help with that. OK, next. Are you ready? Are you ready? There's your letter. An E, 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 E. Off you go. And you're back. OK, so that was the bit where you pause me if you need to. So I, oh, I can see an egg. I can see an elephant. Fantastic. OK, I think you're ready for your next letter. So you've got two objects now. You've got two letters. Are you ready? OK, your next letter is a T. T, 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 T. So you need to find something. Oh, off you go and pause me if you need to. And now you're back. OK, I think it's working. Oh, I can see a tin. I can see tinsel. Someone's got some tinsel still. What else have we got there? Uh, telephone. Well done. Someone's got a telephone. OK, lots of things. Next letter. It is an A. Ah, ah, ah. So off you go. Go and get your go and get whatever it is. Quick run. And we're back. OK, so that's the bit where you pause me. And I can see oh, an apple. That's a good one. What else? An ape. Someone's got like a monkey there, must be an ape, I think. Well done. OK, are you ready for your next letter? A C, another C. OK, k -k -k -k. off you go. Run. And you're back. OK, um, oh, cake. Someone's got a cake. Fantastic. What else have you got there? Oh, uh, a comb. Fantastic. Really good. OK, I'm going to keep going. And now we've got an E. I'm not sure if I've already had that letter. No, no, that's it. I think an E, an E, E, E. Off you go, go. And now you're back. OK, um, oh, what have I got there? An electric guitar. Wow, that's a brilliant one. Well done. OK, I'm going to just go on to the next letter. 
and this time we've got another C there are a lot of diff the same letters here so another C this time so you're on to your let's have a look one two three four five six seven letters we've got three more to go after this so a letter C k -k -k go I think some of you had already gone and you're back okay uh, oh goodness what can I see there a cow wow not a real cow it's not a real cow um, what else have we got some custard fantastic okay keep going next one another A ah, ah, ah. okay off you go and you're back okay let's have a look oh um, an anteater I think there's a picture of an anteater there yeah you're doing really well so many things we've only got a few more letters to go and your next letter is another C my goodness another C k -k -k go and you're back okay uh, a clown I can see a clown I can see a clip yeah fantastic I think this is your last letter and the letter N Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think, is it the aeroplane one? I think so. I hope so, Yera. So you need to go and find something. Go, go, go and find something. And you're back. Oh, what can I see there? A nail, um, a nose. Oh my goodness, lots of things. Well done. Okay. Whew, that was hard work. You've done a lot of running. You might have done a lot of pausing or you might have got lost with my assembly today. You have 10 objects, okay, 10 objects, 10 letters. So I want you to have those letters, write them down. So if I, let me go through them for you, shall I? So you know, so you've got a P, P, E, E, T, T, A, A, C, K, E, C, K, a, C, K, and uh, the letter N, N. <sighs> okay. Most of you, this is going to be too tricky to make this word. So you might need your parents' help. Okay. It is a big word. I would imagine that maybe some children in year four, five, and six might be able to make this word. So I'm just going to just pause me again and see if you can make the word. See if you can come up with a word that I'm thinking of. Okay, pause me. Okay, I'm back. Has anyone got the word? Put your hand up if you've got the word. Shout at me if you've got the word. Yes, I can hear, yes, well done you, well done. I can hear a few people with the word. And the word was acceptance. Whew, that's a big word. Look at all those A's in there, and C's, and E's. It's, it's words that I didn't realise had so many of the same letters in. What does it mean, acceptance? So if you accept something, it means that you've kind of decided that's the way something's going to be. That means, yeah, it's kind of, it doesn't even mean it's okay. It just means that you know that's the way it is. So has anyone got any ideas as to why I decided that acceptance was a really important word at the moment? Have a think about that. Hmm, really good. Now, so this word I chose today because I was thinking about all of the changes that we've had to deal with recently. So normally we go to school and it's all pretty much the same and then we have our holidays and we enjoy that bit and we look forward to things and then our whole world changed and we had to accept that it changed now if you accept that it's changed for a bit it makes it easier for yourself so it's a bit like um, not having a battle inside. So if you don't accept something and you say, I will not accept this. No, I'm not accepting it, but it's gonna happen anyway. Then you're kind of battling with whatever it is that's going on. So if you were somebody that was saying, I'm not going to accept staying at home. Well, you have to, so you, you have to accept it. And I think that accepting things, accepting things into your heart or accepting um, them into your mind can really help you. So that is why I chose that word today. 
The going to find the objects was just a bit of fun. So hopefully you haven't muddled things up too much. That was just that was just so that you could think about the letters and go and find something. But really my message was that I wanted you to think about the importance of acceptance. Now, Christians believe that God accepts us, accepts us for the way that we are and accepts things so that he can love us and make sure that we're always okay. Um, and I think, I like this saying here, so I put this, acceptance is the currency of love. Now, I think that if you are accepted or you accept things, then you can feel loved and you can feel more love. So I've put lots of hands there for our prayer today because I think that it's really nice to be able to think of us all praying together. So I want you just to think about, just have a little bit of quiet time. So close your eyes if you would like to, and you might put your hands together. I'm gonna to put my hands together down here. And um, think about what we can accept and how that will help us. And I'm gonna say a little prayer for you to join in with, if you wish, at the end by saying Amen. Let's do a big Amen, shall we? We'll do that. Okay. Dear Lord, please help us to accept the situation at the moment. Help us to accept that we're spending more time at home. Help us to accept that we're not seeing our friends as much as we would like to. But help us know that by accepting this, we can make it okay for ourselves for now and we know that we're going to move through this and come out the other side. With your help, Amen. Oh, we're going to do a big Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Okay, thank you for joining in. Um, I hope I haven't turned your houses upside down and I would like some feedback as to whether that was utter chaos or whether that worked for you. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.